Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another social media on this channel. Today I'll be watching Reckon 2 Very Good with their song Don't Believe. It's from 2016 and this was also heavily requested. This actually only has 143,000 views on their channel. Uh, might be that this was actually a reupload or something, I don't know. But then again, they are also kind of a new group, so to speak. Um, I really like their song so far. I do have to say though, their production was not always the best, the most crisp and kind of a little bit a mix master problem at times. So I'm hoping that it's a bit better here uh, for their sake as well, but just in general for myself as well, of course, for my enjoyment. And I also have a member overview as per usual, you know, um, gonna help me a little bit. I think they look very different, these, uh, this comeback. So I should be doing fine with the members, uh, granted, when I have this member overview, right? Alrighty, let's go. If you're new to the channel and you like what I do, make sure to subscribe. I have daily care preparations on this channel. And I also react to like all of the comics, but also the stuff that you guys request, you know, like this one, which was heavily requested under my very good reactions. So make sure to request stuff if you want to see more. Uh, definitely anything is fine in K-pop. And yeah, on top of that, I have a Patreon channel. If you want to see even more stuff, I react to last year just to album reviews, react to TV shows, K-dramas, and much, much more over on my Patreon. So yeah, link to that is in the description of this video or also on my website, cultimo.com where you can even check out what exactly reacted to, like, which TV shows, which K-dramas and stuff, you know? So make sure to check it out there first. I think it's better to get a quick overview of what you can expect on my Patreon. Big shout out to my Patreons for April, actually. Special shout goes out to 42 Ayatna, Musebins, and Eldritch. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, very good. Don't believe. Have the member view on the second screen, as per usual. Here we go. Hmm. No subtitles. This is Johyun and Teha. I really like Gohan's voice, by the way. Die. Okay, first up, way better production. Way better. Pretty clean, actually. Overall. I like it. The music video seems a bit simple, but that's fine. I like the colors, though. Ooh, so you... I have to do something. I have to figure out if Goon has short hair or not. I don't think she has. No, she just doesn't. So I'm a bit confused, I guess, where Gowoon is. She's one of the... No, she isn't. Wait, what? So, this with the short is Dai. Then, next to her is Soyul. And then the far left, far right are the... Are Sehyung and Joyeon. Not sure of who's who, actually, of the two, but... And this is Tear, so this here in the back, like, uh, in the middle back is actually Gowoon? She does look on the screenshot like she has black short hair, but she doesn't, I guess. Maybe she's the one in the front, actually. Wow, nice harmony. Yo, those outfits. From the back? Oh my god, what? Yo, they have like... Oh, what? That's wild. Yo. In many ways. <laughs> the pants, the back, like, okay. Eating the fake flower. <laughs> Not good for your digestion. I have to say, I like the instrumental chorus. I was waiting if there were vocals coming, but no. I like it. Oh, Matroshka. Die again. I love you. What? I love you. I hate you. Mm. Her shirt. Oh, this is Gowon. So Gowon actually has long black. I'm assuming Sehyang is just the one that doesn't have black, but the lighting on the screenshot is weird. Mm. This is Johan for sure. Oh, 
Dude, I love how they have harmony and one member keeps singing alone. It's so nice, vocal-wise. So they're talking with each other through this. Oh, I like that shot. I like that shot. So they have... Either that's an effect, um, post-production-wise, or this is actually just drawn on the wall, but there's this line, right, which is like kind of connecting the two uh, cups, which is supposed to be the phone here. Of course, you all know this, like, phone cup phone thing, I think. Uh, if you don't, like, I guess it's out of a movie it, it came. Was it a scary movie? I don't know where it came from, actually, but probably not. Probably way, way older than that. And this actually works, especially with metal cups, I think. I don't think it works with these cups, though. But that's kind of like the, the message behind it. So they somewhat are disconnected from each other, but they still talk or like, yeah. Maybe that's also supposed to show the harmony, like how they sync up. Ooh, the dances. Vocals. Bucket of flowers. Because your, your shorts are really short. <laughs> like really short. Ooh. Hey, from left to right, from right to left. Then metal it is. Is it ice cream? Oh my god. Oh, the, okay, pop off, girls, the dancing. Okay, suddenly they're somewhat of a sexy group. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's, oh my god, I love that. It's so simple, but it's, she's blowing it away. And the ship is sailing. And then the outro. And she's looking at the logo. Dude, that's so smart. I like that a lot. <laughs> it looks so simple, but I like it a lot. Okay, that was very good with Don't Believe. Ooh. This is probably my favorite very good song so far. That is partly due to just the production being so much better than in their other songs I've heard so far. Some of them were actually decent, some, like, I think one of them, I don't remember, was it, no, I don't remember which one it was, but one of them was definitely, eh, production-wise. Uh, I really liked the song, but the production was, and it was so unfortunate, and I don't, I don't think that the song was either on Spotify, or it was just the same on Spotify. I definitely checked that, and something like that happened. Um, this was definitely a song where I don't think one single member really popped off. Like, it's not like I can pinpoint one and say, like, dang, they popped off. I, I, I could say that Dai was, like, having a lot of parts in the first half of the song. But other than that, there was a lot of harmonies, and I think everyone kind of shined. Well, it was just kind of hard to tell who exactly did what, you know? So that's also hard for me to do without, like, being able to, to pinpoint the voices and stuff. Um, by the way, I'm not sure if it's still useful to subscribe to your YouTube channel. That's why I'm not doing it. I mean, I can just do it, I guess, but I'm not sure if it's useful because they kind of disband it now, sadly, um, as far as I remember. So it is sad um, that that happened, by the way. I, I just got into them. Their new song is so good, man. Was it Time to Fly? Was, was that the name of the song? I think it was. It was so good. And also the B-side, which is like a very long Hangul name. I, I don't even know uh, how to I think, call that. Uh, was it Time to Fly or was it like something else? Very good time for me. Mm, time for me, not time to fly. And then the the B side of that. I almost called Undying Love. Really good, man. I recorded it as well, but really, really good. So yeah, very good. Don't believe that was nice. I enjoyed that the chorus was completely instrumental. And in the last one, the first two were the same, and both were amazing. The last one had like an extended version. It kind of there was a uh, one more layer of instrumental kicking in at the same time, almost like a drop into a sub drop, a secondary one. That was just making it even even more hype and more like a feeling like a climax, which it was, you know, it was the last chorus. So they did a wonderful job in kind of like only slightly changing the chorus, but making a very big impact. You know, so it very much felt like it's still the same song, but it had more impact. 
that was really smart. And vocal production was great. Um, harmonies were nice. I, again, liked when they had harmonies. Like, it sounded like two or three members having harmonies. And we saw two members usually lip syncing. So I'm assuming it was two. And then uh, one of the other members actually was singing their part. Or like, I, I guess kind of like just a different vocal layer at the same time. And it was kind of like harmony and then this vocal layer. And it was so well produced that sometimes you couldn't tell which was like the, the foreground thing and which was the background. It was kind of like hip hopping, like um, bouncing around each other. And like at times the harmony was in the foreground, at times it was in the background. And the same with the, the foreground vocal, or I guess the single vocal of the other member, which already like changed a lot of the time as well. Like the single member was always different, I think. Um, so the single member was sometimes in the foreground, sometimes in the background. I like that bounce. I don't know how to classify the song, like what type of concept this is. Like it's somewhat sexy, it's somewhat summery, I guess. Uh, do let me know if you can like pinpoint that. But yeah, that's my ration to Very Good Stuff Believe. Thanks so much for watching and uh, have a nice day. Peace.